But let's go to the valley one last time. How's this recording session going to? Okay, it's been about two hours. I'm about to I'm about to actually wrap this game up, honestly, so. Yes. This game's almost over for the most part. Okay, first thing we do, it's right here. There we go. Now we can actually focus on the game. That's all we had to do. I want to see if I can actually get a bunch of Geodude together. Think of what other Pokemon I need to get. Maybe it's 63. Because I have to get Starmie. Starmie is what I have to focus on here. Okay, I can't bunch the Geodude up together. Wait, is he just is he running around because of the music? Seems like it. Maybe I can get two Geodude right here. I, I probably shouldn't focus on that if I want to get the... Uh... You know what? No, I won't focus on that if I want to get the other thing. I want to focus on getting the Staryu. How do I miss it every single time? Okay, there we go. I have to keep going. I have to get all the other star you as well. Okay. I missed it, but two might be enough. Oh, yep. Definitely is. Perfect. Let's aim wrong! Yay! Actually, no, I think it'll... Oh, no. Okay. I'm good. I think I got a better picture of Goldeen right there, though. Oh, with Starmie, I think I have all the Pokémon accounted for, so I'm essentially... done, I think. I would like to show off some of those other special pictures, though. Like the Jigglypuff Trio and the, uh... Other one. The, uh, Flying Pikachu. Even though they're not really, like, that much to write home about, still, I'd like to show them off, if possible. We'll see, though. We'll see. That's actually, this is like a really good close picture. Unfortunately, I don't think he's posing, so I don't think it's going to matter too much. Let's see, any good Staryu pictures? There's Starmie. See, I think that Goldine was really good, but we'll see. You can technically see more of that Dratini. It's for Magikarp. I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna get better than the one I already have, so I'm not gonna worry about that one. Yes. Okay, what do we get? That's definitely a better Geodude. Great size. Decent pose. It's gonna be better. Well done. But again. If I would have had a pose there, that would have been great. A really great picture. Okay, Staryu. Let's see, 240. Well, it's a better picture, technically. 
Okay, Starmie. I think this is going to be another kind of boss picture. Yeah, unfortunately. Again, they're just like really, really small pictures, so you can't really do a whole lot with them. That's why I hate some of these pictures, honestly. So we're up to 62, we're going to return to the lab again. Welcome back. Welcome back. You finally got all the Pokemon sign hmm. pictures. Hmm, after looking at these six pictures, I noticed that the signs are just like the constellations that can be seen from Pokemon Island. That's the key to this mystery. Now it all makes sense. It's the sky. Rainbow cloud floating in the sky is the secret course. Someone in the clouds must have created the Pokemon signs. I have made a new path to the rainbow cloud. This could prove to be very important for Pokemon research. Good luck, Slim Bob. So, we're up to 62. Is it is 63 the most? I Again, I don't remember how many Pokemon there are. So what I think I'm going to do here is... Hold on. First, we can rearrange these by score to see our best pictures, which is kind of cool. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do right here is I'm going to actually look at the Pokemon report and figure out uh, which Pokemon I'm missing. If I am missing any of them. And I'm going to try to get those before I actually try to get uh, or go to the final level. Which the final level is going to be just one Pokemon, so it's not really a whole lot to write home about. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So hold on, guys. Let me uh, figure this out. Okay, I actually uh, looked, and we are actually... We have all the Pokemon. We've gotten all the possible Pokemon. Even though we don't have the best pictures, we do have uh, pretty much all, except the one Pokemon we can find here. So uh, before we go to the Rainbow Cloud, I'm going to very quickly go through the courses on my own accord, uh, see if I can get some of those other bonus pictures so I can show you guys and uh just in general see if i can find anything worth showing before i hit the rainbow cloud i honestly think it's just going to be the cave and the two bonus pictures that i want to show off uh but aside from that um that's pretty much going to be it so i will uh see you guys when i am ready to uh start talking again so see you guys then Okay, I just rocked it. I just saved all three Jigglypuffs, like, immediately. So, uh, not only do I, or not only will I get the Jigglypuff Trio, but I'll also have some extra time to try to do this to get the Flying Pikachu picture, too. So, come on, please just hit the frickin' Zubat. I'm not asking for much. Ah, uh, come on, come on, ah, oh. seriously, I, I hate this one so much. Okay, good, they're still singing. Uh, sometimes if you're playing with your Poke Flutes, uh, you'll actually, like, ruin their performance and they'll stop playing, so that's why it was kind of important that I, uh, stop playing the Poke Flute right there. Don't feel like I got the best technical score right there, but still, it's going to be worth seeing how, what those points are going to be worth. Wow. And here's Jigglypuff Trio on stage. Going to be worth way more points. It's a bit of better size, same pose, technique, wow. and it's going to give me a few more points for the other Jigglypuffs too, so... That could have dethroned the Pikachu on a stump picture, actually. That could have dethroned it. I'm actually kind of curious now. Welcome back. Let's see if it did. I'm I'm honestly really curious. It did. It dethroned it. 
Probably not by much either, because I remember it was a it was a six four. Yeah, it dethroned it by like twenty points. Yeah, twenty points. Jigglypuff is now my best picture. Okay, even though I tried this before, like this is supposed to be a special picture, the dancing graveler trio, like a special picture, and that you'll get points before it actually like scores you for it. But again, like, it's hard to get a good picture of this. And again, I'm not sure if they're even going to score me properly on it either. Again, it's hard to tell. I also got another Starmie again, but God knows if this is going to be good enough. We'll see, though. We'll see. Wow. Yeah, see, I counted it this time. I don't know why I didn't count it earlier. Maybe I accidentally turned off the Poke Flute or something. No, that could be it. But overall, it was a better picture. I think it's going to give me a worse... Oh, no, give me a little better, I well guess. Done. So that actually, like, went up to one of my better pictures, too. So that's interesting. Okay, this is actually attempt number seven. I actually did this on attempt number five. But I messed one thing up in that I didn't get the Articuno out fast enough. So I have to do things a little bit differently. But I am capable of doing it, it's just, again... Wait, did I do it? I did! Okay, hold on. I need to get this out now. I'm not gonna worry about getting the Articuno picture. Actually, hold on, I know what I have to do. Okay, hold on. What's gonna happen here? Hopefully I didn't go too fast, which I don't think I did. I think I got Pikachu, so it's okay. But yes, that is the flying Pikachu. The hardest special picture to get. Again, you basically have to get Pikachu out of that egg. Or out of the Azubat's grass. Then you get Articuno out of the egg. Not Pikachu. Pikachu's not in the egg. And then, uh... Yeah, that's basically it, so... I feel like this... Oh, no, I did get two of them. Unfortunately, I didn't get the best picture, but, uh... Just to see what it's worth, I guess. I'm, I'm surely I got, like, a better Articuno picture. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Well, let's see what we did. How is this gonna look? Again, I'm not expecting to get a great score here, because, yeah, Flying Pikachu... Which is worth 2,000. It's worth a lot. But all the other stats are going to be worse, unfortunately. So, But yeah, I got, I got the special picture. I'm sure there's definitely ways to get a better version of this picture than what I got. Because again, I kept getting the Articuno. Which, I think I got a better Articuno picture at least. So that's something. Uh, but yeah, we pretty much got all the special pictures. Uh, as for other pictures, I know I didn't score very highly on a lot of them. Just to kind of showcase this, I suppose. So if we rearrange by score... And then we take a look at this. There's definitely some pictures where I only got in the, like, 100s in. Like, in the 100s. Not really even in the thousands. Staryu and Starmie were the worst. But these guys are really hard to get. These are some of the hardest pictures to get. Honestly, with 2,000 being my lowest aside from these two, I don't really feel that bad. Because these guys are really, really rough to try to get a picture of. And yeah, Valley was kind of my worst place, I feel like. Although I think I do have a few pictures that are near the top. Yeah, Graveler and Gyarados, those are pretty good. But yeah, looks like uh, Jigglypuff is going to be my best picture. And uh, 
Yeah, that's, I'm fine with that. I like Jigglypuff. I actually like Jigglypuff more than Pikachu, so there you go. So, we're going to go ahead and go wrap up this game. We're going to go to the last course. This is the yes. Rainbow Cloud. Like I said, there is only one Pokemon here. And you have to do you have to do some fun things to get it to appear for you. See, here we have Mew. Mew seems to be in a bubble. So what we have to do is we have to break that bubble. You can break it with pester balls. I think you can break it with pester balls. Oh yeah, I think you have to hit it three times. And then he, yep, he sends the shield out. And he has a yellow shield. Oh wait, okay, he does a different phase. That's what it is. You have to be very, very alert, because you don't know how he's going to move. I wouldn't say it's random, necessarily, but... Dang it, come on. There we go. I think you have to do it a few more times. Ah. This course isn't very long, either, so you don't get a whole lot of time to do this. After we do this one more time, though, we should be good. He's going to knock the shield away again. And now we have another phase where he basically chases the shield. Oh, perfect. Okay, that, that's great. Unfortunately, though, if he gets back in the shield, you have to, I think, do another hit from this phase. But, okay, no, it's only one time, though. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I got a decent picture. It's not going to be the greatest, but, you know, it is what it is. Muse... The legendary Pokemon of the very first game. The most the most legendariest Pokemon. It's no surprise that he's the most difficult to get. Or she. Actually, do legendaries have gender? I don't think they do. There's the gate, though. I want to get one more good set of pictures before I end it, but it's okay. And don't even bother taking a picture of you when he's uh, in the bubble. Uh, it won't register. You have to actually get it out of the bubble for it to work. So don't even bother. I don't think I'm going to... Nope. Okay. Well, whatever. I, I, got, I got a decent picture anyway. Not the best picture, but it, it's something, I suppose. Okay, so we have 14 pictures. Let's take a look. Obviously, this is going to be the best one. It even has little sparklies, too. Yes. Wow. wow, isn't this the rare Pokemon Mew? The rare Pokemon Mew! You know, its full name. <laughs> uh, not a great size. Pose, perfect. Technique. Yeah, Mew, you're going to get a lot of points for Mew regardless, so... It's going to be your best photo regardless if you want it to be or not, which is kind of lame. Welcome back. Welcome back. You have completed the Pokemon report. Slim Bob is a genuine Pokemon photographer. Congratulations. I have nothing left to teach you. Listen to your instincts and click the shutter when you see something that looks cool. Pokemon research on this island seemed long at first, but it really went by fast. I appreciate all your help. Well then, see you later. See you. Okay, let's press A or B or to save, and uh, I think we get the credits now. And while you get the credits, and I think this is actually a really cool feature of this game, you actually see all of your best photos. Like, they show like all the photos you took, which I think is really, really awesome. It's a cool way to just kind of look at, like, all you did during this playthrough. And it's just, it's just a really cool thing. I, I really do like this. 
Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for Pokemon Snap. Uh, a few things I want to say before I close this. I never claim to be the supreme expert at this game. I know that there's a lot of different ways to get really good pictures of Pokemon, and I know I didn't show them all. Uh, the main goal of this project was really just to get all the Pokemon for the Pokemon Report, showcase all of the special photographs, and uh, complete the game from there, and which I did. So, regardless of what anyone says, this project was a success. So, don't even uh, don't even bother telling me otherwise. Uh, but that is going to be it. I'm not going to really try to do any more with this game. Uh, again, this game is really cool. It's a nice little distraction game. It's not really a full-length Pokemon game at all, but uh, when I was younger, I did have fun with this. This was one of those games where back in the day, uh, I had a promotional uh, thing going on with Bro Blockbuster, where you could like bring your cartridge to a Blockbuster video, and it had like, a special machine where you could print out stickers of the photos you take in your game, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, me and my friend used to do that a lot, actually, when this game first came out. It was really fun. So, you know, it's a very gimmickal game. You can sit down and finish this game in about, you know, this project is only going to be about, like, two and a half hours. But, like, I didn't even get all the Pokemon. Like, I got all the Pokemon. You don't even have to do that. So, you could probably finish this game in less than two hours, honestly. So... Uh, it's, it's a fun, again, it's a fun little distraction game. It's nothing really that spectacular or special, but, you know, it's a game you can kind of sit down and play for like an hour or two if you want to kind of waste some time. Even if you finish the game, you can just try to like, look at your Pokemon report, figure out what Pokemon you have a bad score with, and kind of work on getting a better score, which is kind of cool. And you can also, like, if you go inside your menu... Uh, there's actually something else I need to show off, too, but, uh... First, let's go to the gallery, I guess. Why not? Pick your four best shots. Choose your favorite shots from the report and album. Are these my pictures? I don't feel like these are my pictures. I think these are just, like, standard ones. But, yeah, you can take a look at all the pictures you took. I think that'll be a kind of a good way to finish this project out, kind of show all the pictures we took in the game. Although these are not mine, so... I think these are just, like, standard ones or something. But, like, uh... Hold on. Can I actually select these by chance? Oh, no, never mind. Okay. I think I can probably do that in the actual game. But yeah, I believe the gallery is, like, kind of what I was talking about, where you can, uh, put these in the gallery, and then you can go to Blockbuster Video and print out those stickers. But unfortunately, Blockbuster Video isn't really a thing anymore, and even if it was, like, I doubt they'd still have these out, so that's basically all I have to say there. Uh, when you come into the game after finishing the game... I've been expecting you, Slim Bob. The Pokemon Academy has officially announced the record for the highest photo score. Now you can compete to see how many total points you can get. I have arranged it so that you can see the challenge score for each course. Good luck, Slim Bob. Do your best to beat all the challenge scores. Uh, so basically, if you go to course, um, you'll see the challenge score, where basically it takes, it keeps track of all the photos you take and gives you kind of a point value and you can basically challenge yourself to beat all these scores if you really really want to I personally don't think there's a huge reason for doing this I don't think you get anything for doing this it's kinda of just one of those things where it's like hey you can do this if you really want to challenge yourself but uh I'm not gonna bother and I think it's just pretty much it, it like keeps track of like all the photos you take adds up all the points for them even if you don't like give a picture to the professor I think it still like keeps track of each individual picture you take so if you take like a picture of nothing for example that's not really gonna do you anything so it's like you want to focus on point uh, pick pictures that'll give you a lot of points and that's usually how you will beat the challenge score I feel like uh, but yeah you have the Pokemon report and you also have the album too I don't know if you can do anything from that from here but whenever you're like sending a Pokemon to the professor 
Uh, you can also choose to save one in your album. So if there's like a picture that may not be the highest scoring, but a picture you like, you can just kind of see them and do that if you really, really want. But let's go ahead and take a look at all these pictures to kind of close this project out. Uh, Bulbasaur, we have the Charmanders eating their dinner. Charmeleon roaring to the sky. He has an apple under him, though, for some reason. There's Charizard, sending lots of flames our way. Squirtles dancing, or being happy with their eyes closed. Metapod, Butterfree, Kakuna. Wish I would have gotten a better Pidgey picture, but Pidgey, I think this is kind of the standard Pidgey picture you'll get. Pikachu on a stump. I f again, I feel like the Poke Flute one is better. I just didn't get like the best angle with it. This was a really nice close-up Sandshrew picture. There's Sand Slash. Our happy Vulpix. Jigglypuff Trio, which was my best picture until the uh, Mew picture we got. That really close Zubat. Pixel Plume. I mean Vile Plume. Diglett doing his thing. The massive Doug Trio army, which I didn't think, I didn't really even realize was a thing until this playthrough. Meowth getting sassy. Psyduck getting classy. Can't even see Mankey there. That's a really bad picture, but again, it's the freaking point score for this game doesn't really keep that into consideration. There's Growlithe shaking off embers, Arcanine shaking off embers, Poliwag shaking off water particles. Weeping Bell. I do really like this Weeping Bell picture. I do like this one as well. There's Geodude. I feel like there is a way to get multiple Geodude together, which is probably the most optimal way to do that. This was an okay picture, but I feel like I kind of lost some points because the third Graveler is not really in view. There's Rapidash. Kind of a boring Rapidash picture, but Rapidash is really hard to get, I feel like. Really good Slowpoke. Decent Slowbro. Again, the Slowpoke picture is actually better. Uh, Magnemite. Probably could have got more points if the, the second one was actually in view at the top completely. There's Magneton, which is a good picture. The, these are actually really close in points. There's... <laughs> Dead Doduo on a surfboard. There's Grimer. Here's Muck. I'm glad I got a good Muck picture. After all that trouble I was having with him. There's Shell... Th this is probably the most glitchiest, weirdest picture of Shelter. Just because, like, he's not supposed to be there, but... That one frame where he is still there, I got him. That was a pretty good picture of Cloyster... Again, I really do like this picture of Haunter. It's kind of weird how it was so close to the other one I took. Electrode exploding. Coughing. Exploding, kind of. Be nicer if he was more in the middle of the frame. Chansey dancing. Kangaskhan with Lapras creeping in the background. Goldeen. Staryu. These two really bad pictures. This being the worst one I took. Scyther. I really hate the back shot, though. I really don't like this picture, either. I feel like the other Jinx ones were better, but again... There was something wrong with those other ones I took. This was interesting. Magmar killing his friend. Magikarp being Magikarp. Gyarados. I feel like this could have been better, too, if I maybe, like, went up a little bit. Or kept the, kept the Gyarados up a little more. Then we have Lapras. This was kind of cool. Although this was the picture I took at the very beginning of the game, which I didn't think was that great. Ended up being the best one of all the attempts I did. Then we had Ditto, eating an apple. I actually had a really good Ditto picture where I had three of them, but uh, it was in one of the failed attempts of the flying Pikachu section. Again, wish I would have got a better Eevee picture. That's not really the best Porygon, either. Dancing Snorlax. Hi, Articuno. Bad Zapdos, though. Like, I think Moltres is... Yeah, the Moltres is the best legendary... Non-Mew legendary picture I got. Uh, next we have Dratini, which that one wasn't too great, but whatever. Dragonite, which is always pretty cool. 
And there we go. There's Mew. Those are all the pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, playthrough. It didn't last very long. Kind of like a 6-7 video project. Maybe even not that much. But uh, uh, for the next Pokemon game I do, um, a lot of people have been asking about Pokemon Stadium. I did say at some point I might return to that. I'd still like to, but again, it's just really hard because I have to actually create some new teams so I can do all the other cups, and I just don't really feel like I'm in a very team-building mood, especially with Gen 1, where uh, you can't get multiple TMs or multiple really good TMs. I'll figure out something to do with that, but again, don't hold your breath. I'm not going to make that a priority or anything. If, I'm just, if, I, if I feel it, I feel it. I would like to do that at some point though, so do not do not fret, it's in my mind, I just I just don't really have a good starting place for that, so. Uh, next Pokemon project, honestly, might actually be the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy, uh, which is a game that I didn't like for the longest time, but recently I picked up and actually really, really enjoyed it, so I'd like to kind of show that off for you guys. I uh, don't think that's going to be this year, though. It might be sometime next year. Uh, but I'm actually really interested to see that and how that will go. So maybe that'll be my next Pokemon project. Uh, but as far as like the next Pokemon like generation game, uh, it will probably end up being uh, Pokemon Gen 3. I do have a cart for Gen 3, finally. But it's still probably going to be a while before I start that, so don't assume it's going to start anytime soon, because it's probably not, to be honest. So, uh, with that, I think I'm going to close this project up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed Pokemon Snap, and I'll see you guys for my next project, whenever the hell that's going to be. Later, folks.